DaVinci Resolve for noobs. I've made a lot of videos showing all the individual features here on the edit page in DaVinci Resolve, but what throws a lot of people off is how they act when you start using them in conjunction. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is a typical DaVinci Resolve for noobs edit, and it's fairly small, but it's got a lot of different pieces going on. Now, a lot of you know that when you select a clip in the timeline and you hit the backspace key, it removes that clip and anything linked to it without moving the rest of the timeline. The reason it does that, if you right click on that clip, you will see that not only are both the video and the audio linked and highlighted in red, but the link clips option has a check mark next to it. Now, if I were to untick that, they are still both selected. I would need to click away and then select one individually. If I were to hit backspace, it will remove just the video. And if I were to select the audio and hit backspace, it would remove just the audio. But if I were to hit just the video and hit delete, it's going to ripple delete and move everything else in that timeline. Now, if I had both of these linked together, but I had the linking option turned off and then I tried to move one or the other, you will see that they are now separating and a little time signature shows up showing me how many frames they are off center or how they've been moved away from each other. So they're still linked, but I have turned off the linking in the timeline. If I were to turn that back on and click, now you'll see they will move together. Now there are other features such as position lock. If I hit this lock right here, you see all these little locks turn red next to each track. And what that does is it allows me to keep editing anything in the timeline, but I can't move anything in any track that's been time locked. I can change the end values of them, but the overall clip, I can't move back or forth. Now, if I select two clips that are linked together, but I turn the position lock off for only one, let's say the video, now when I go to move it, it's only gonna allow me to move the video section. And vice versa, if I turned off the position lock just for the audio track, even though they're linked, and even though I have the linking option turned on, it will only allow me to move the audio section. Now, if I have a track locked, that means I can't move anything in it and I can't edit or add effects to that track. So now this audio and this video are linked together, the linking feature is on, but I won't be able to move the audio because the audio track is actually fully locked. Another thing that happens is you might actually select another clip that's in a different track, right click and link them. Anytime I select any one of them, I'm going to select all three of them. But now if I hit delete, it's gonna move all of those things out of the way. Another feature to be aware of is the auto track selector. If I put a playhead right here and I choose to hit control B, it'll put a cut through everything in every track. But if I turned off the auto track selector right here and I do the same thing, it will not allow that track to be affected. Having an auto track selector disabled can sometimes defeat some of the other functionality. 